Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I just wanted to go over one of my favorite sites for getting free animations and character models, and that's Mixamo.com. They were bought by Adobe a while back, and the prices went from five to 15 bucks per animation to completely free, and as far as I know, they're gonna remain completely free indefinitely. So, if you look here, I've just got a shaman character that I pulled in from a class I did, and he's doing a so I think it was a Samba dance, but I can just click on any of these animations and just drop them in. So if I wanted to do this rifle punch animation, maybe I want to get this stand up animation. I got him, you know, falls down and he needs to get back up. I just click on the animation that I want, hit download, select FBX for Unity. The default is FBX there. So you want FBX for Unity, hit download and you're done. It'll just grab a, or download a file like this and you just drop it right into your project and it'll work. Now, it does only work with humanoids and the rig has to be pretty standard, so you wanna make sure that you're using a character that's standardized and works. But if you don't have a character at all, you can also go to the characters section here and just choose some of these characters. They're pretty high quality, pretty high detail. Um, I just click on one, hit select to pick them, and you see that the animation is now playing on that character. I can jump over to the uh, animations tab and. I'll grab some other animations. That's a jump down, it looks like. So, like I said, there are a lot of animations, thousands and thousands. So let's look at like uh, some of the packs too. One of the other things I usually grab when I set up characters, I'll grab one of the locomotion packs. So I'll just select, select my character or upload my character and then grab some animation. Ah, there we go, there he is. I'll grab some animation packs and you know, locomotion packs for running. These, This one I think has um, forward, back, some strafes and some turns. And then there are pistol ones, there's magic ones, there's a longbow one you can see. There's a rifle one with 50 animations almost, 49, a uh, set of female ones. And these pink ones, by the way, are meant to be female animations. Sometimes I'll mix and match them. It doesn't really make a big difference, but if you're just kind of curious what the difference is here, that's what it's intended to mean. Pink is the, the female ones, like the catwalk walk. We can have this guy to walk on the catwalk. Or again, we could just switch over and pick a new um, a new character and maybe have this uh, big demon looking dude do his catwalk walk, right? So anyway, oh, one last thing before I forget. The options right here, so you may have noticed when I clicked on this animation, there's a sassiness slider, a stride slider, there's character arm space, there are a lot of different options, and the number of options varies per animation, like this one. Arm space is pretty common though, so you see like he holds his arms out a lot further if I slide the arm space out, if I pull it in, his arms will be more down in sight. In fact, they're, they're a little too far in, they're kind of clipping into his body. So you can play with these sliders and get it to look right on your character or kind of customize the animation as you see fit. But again, great site. I love Mixamo. Use it all the time for projects, either when I'm prototyping or sometimes in just final release products. So definitely check it out. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to drop a comment below. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.